I'd say walkabout is an experience where you're pushed. An opportunity to be in the wilderness and see what you're like outside of your comfort zone. There's no restaurants nearby, like you don't have your phone. It just makes you be really present, like every second. To be able to go out into the woods and to do something that's hard, but to see him through that, like I think that's the most important. Like Through the pain and the sweat, we still glorify him at the end of the day. some possible new names for walkabout because uh, I've been listening to you guys talk. Um, I've heard smoke about, no solo about. I heard half about. It's really interesting. In some ways, I felt like tonight we had to at least acknowledge it's been an interesting walkabout, right? Would you agree with me? Oh my. We got a bad. Woo! 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 That was a it's not what we expected coming out early due to the uh, smoke. Sometimes you couldn't see even like your next step ahead of you, but you just have to trust. I wish you guys had a picture of us wearing our masks like in a line. It looks like we were doing containment control. We were really tested with our resilience and our ability to um, to adapt. But our team, man, they were amazing. The most resilient, incredible students. It was such a privilege. It was really cool. The intention of Walkabout is that we're challenged. Mm -hmm. And so normally that challenge looks like 10 days in the wilderness. And for us, it looks like not knowing where we were going or what we were doing within yeah. the next day. Can we acknowledge that walkabout may not have been everything we thought it might be. We all come in with expectations, and I don't think that's a bad thing. But I think the best expectation is that God is going to work, and I'm going to keep my eyes wide open so I can join in on it. A lot of seeing God at work was through people. I think people really exemplified characteristics of Christ, like humility, um, and compassion towards one another to really serve each other. We're doing the, the classic APU life stories, and then as a team we would get together and lay hands on that person and pray for them, which was so powerful in, like, in this darkness underneath the stars. I think they truly figured out how to trust each other and to give that trust to one another. The way that they literally carried each other. Literally, they would take each other's packs off and hold them for each other up the mountain. You really have to communicate and have humility in being able to express your discomforts and your vulnerabilities. And it's okay to say, hey, like, I'm in pain and I need help. Now that it's come to an end, I would do this over a hundred times. I, with the same people, I would do this over and over and over and over again. Things have ended up different than we imagined. And isn't it a lot like how the rest of your year is going to go as RAs? Is there any chance that maybe what we experienced this week is a little preparation for what it looks like to depend upon God and to depend upon one another? To not be surprised by surprises. To be ready for the unthinkable. To be totally trustworthy of God that no matter what comes up, you know that you're not alone. Till I 
Yeah.